We get visits from the Sandman. We grab 40 winks. We catch some Zs and we hit the hay. The Sandman visits us while we sleep, bringing dreams and restful nights. In traditional mythology, the Sandman sprinkles sand or dust into the eyes of sleepers. My Sandman is dead. Just there. It's perfect. I'm not good at sleeping. I'm really bad at it. You're not good. I can't sleep. No matter how long I try, no matter how long I close my eyes, and I'm kind of fascinated by how you said that. You said I'm not good, as if it's sort of like an activity. Yeah. Do, do you feel it's kind of like it? Do you feel it's sort of like a, a more of a task than anything? Yeah, it's more a chore. I feel I feel like sleeping is such a chore for me. I'm like, oh, I have to sleep. It's gonna be such a pain. You don't, you don't want to do it. You, you're not happy. No. A lot of people are like, ah, sleep. I can close my eyes and within 10 minutes I'll be asleep. For me, it's way different. Like what? I'm not, I'm not normal in the sense when it comes to sleep. I don't think sleep agrees with my body, you know? I think I might have something that isn't, that is abnormal. The, the point when you, when you know that you cannot go any longer without seeing a doctor is when you can't control your ailment anymore. I think people don't understand because it's something that they don't feel. And people can't relate to things, that's obvious. People can't relate to things that they don't feel. So it's difficult for people to empathize with me. <laughs> and I'm desensitized to the fact of not sleeping. And these rings under my eyes, these black rings are permanent. They're, they're really permanent, these black rings. I've, just, I've been told, you need sleep. How does your situation really affect your daily life? Um, it's forgetting stuff. I forget a lot of stuff. I have a bad short-term memory because I don't sleep. I started noticing it around 11. At 10, I ignored it completely. I didn't really. I just thought I was having okay. a bad day. What would you say is the last time you had the proper night's sleep? midterm break probably which was what how long ago like two months two months ago weekends are hard because you only have two days <laughs> weekends are hard and it comes back to me not liking not not liking sleep sleep isn't something i enjoy because not just getting sleep is difficult and it's not just uncomfortable but it's it's annoying it's a chore Sleep is not something I look forward to because I could be working while I'm sleeping. If yeah. sleep has no health benefits, I wouldn't do it. Like lying in my bed, all cozy and warm, that's comfortable. Being unconscious and having weird dreams, I don't find comfortable. I don't know anything to fix it. All I've done is just live through it. To cope? To cope. Just cope with it tolerate it and that's what I've done. And how, 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 do you, how do you cope with them? I do things. I make things. I like to make things. I like making For something. Example. Films. I like, write, I like to like this. Where is it? Where's my... There it is. This here. It has ideas for movies and lists for things I have to do that day. And I have other ones where there's like pages on pages of things I've written 
you know, ideas. I have ideas when I'm super creative when I'm not sleeping. The CDC said that 30% of adults have reported having less than six hours of sleep per day. We decided to see what people thought. How much sleep do you get a night? About seven or eight hours. Uh, with two kids at the moment, about five hours. About seven. Seven to eight, seven and a half to sleep. Is sleep important to you? Oh, definitely. It's my peace time, to be honest, because when you're living and all, doing all the stuff in the world, like, you need a bit of time for yourself, and I think, like, when you're dreaming away, you're having the best time of your life. Uh, if I don't get enough sleep, I'd probably, your mind doesn't think as clear and you come liable to get colds and flus, so I just reckon it's quite important. If you don't sleep, how does that affect you? Oh man, it has a, what do you call it, it has an effect on your productivity throughout life. For example, if you're, if you're traveling two hours to go to the gym every single day, I can tell you for a fact right now, if you keep that up for five days, get like, I don't know, three, four hours of sleep, I bet you're going to collapse on the floor somewhere, probably end up in a hospital somewhere. Sleep is absolutely essential. I cannot actually emphasize enough. It is absolutely essential to your well-being. Regular meditation may be a powerful tool for some, so meditate. Yeah, that's an idea. Okay, now just look forward. Now just look forward. Keep your hands on your lap. Look forward, eyes open. And just not, don't focus on anything. Just look blankly and just focus. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Begin to close your eyes. Breathing in, breathing out, just focusing on my voice. Breathing in, breathing out. Don't be afraid of losing your focus. And if you do, just go ahead and start over again until you get to 10. Okay, cool. So. Like really relaxing like when you started telling me to like um not focus on anything and when my uh my vision started to like like uh, like it just faded like everything you were focusing on yeah like i couldn't see anything of this it just it was like a blur <laughs> so you want to try and take a nap yeah okay see you in the morning, see you in the morning. Um, I'll come check on you in like an hour. It felt like two hours. Did you get to sleep? No. I tried. Oh, <laughs> the room's completely in the shop. So you didn't get to sleep? No. Not at all. I did try. Like, I don't feel, I didn't get to sleep, I just feel more, sort of, fatigued now, it's just more. Hmm. <laughs> wow. I feel like this is something that... I'm never going to get rid of, and it's just there. I feel like it's going to be something there that I'm never going to be able to fix because, I don't know, I've tried, and I feel like this is just who, who I am. Um, it's just I can't sleep. I don't think the Sandman will ever come.